So a lot of programs make kids graduate through the program to touch stuff. As you start out with, a lot of times you can't use anything. You look through the glass and maybe you touch a little bit in class and that's about it. In our first semester and on, we have studio time for our students. You need to learn how to use this stuff and we don't have equipment that's outdated and you're never going to see again. It's current equipment that if you decide to work professionally in the industry, this is the stuff you're going to be coming in contact with. Grammy Award winner Jack Douglas is an American record producer and audio engineer. Before I even saw the studios, the vibe was great. And what I think is amazing is like if I could think of like the ideal college for someone that was going into the arts, this would be it. We are in charge of all the productions that are happening here. So any live sound action that's happening here, whether it be the theater or outside the theater, we're involved in it. The one outside of college that so we started last summer at the Great South Bay Music Festival, where we're actually bringing students to run audio there. There's national acts there, so we have our kids working with national acts as they're coming through that location. I work for the audio program here. We run the studio session. A lot of people, you get to come in at least once or twice a week for personal or project time for class. I think it's great, and the MIDI lab is always open for people to use the computers. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a business audio student. <laughs> I knew two of the professors here before starting, Professor Lee and Professor Machado, back when I was in high school. So I did two summer programs. I met them through that, and that's how I found out about the school. Because I enjoyed those courses, I ended up coming here. It's experience with equipment that's, you've heard these consoles on thousands and thousands of records. Uh, through most of people's lifetime, through audio history, basically.